I have very few memories regarding different firsts from my childhood, like my first time feeling truly happy or sad. I do, however, have a memory about one of the earliest moments where I felt fear. This memory revolves around Alvin Schwartz's book In a Dark Dark Room and other scary stories. This story is often mistaken as being a part of Alvin's other equally traumatic books, the Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark trilogy. I've done a video on those stories as well. Check it out, if you dare. But I can remember specifically, in first grade, my class and I would always sit on the floor together and gather around a storyteller seated at the front of the room. Each day, a new student would read to the class a section of a book they had chosen. Well, one of the students had chosen In a Dark Dark Room, and during one reading session, the story titled The Green Ribbon was chosen. Because the story is so short, I wanted to take the time to read it to you now. Once there was a girl named Jenny. She was like all the other girls, except for one thing. She always wore a green ribbon around her neck. There was a boy named Alfred in her class. Alfred liked Jenny, and Jenny liked Alfred. One day he asked her, Why do you wear that ribbon all the time? I cannot tell you, said Jenny. But Alfred kept asking, why do you wear it? And Jenny would say, It's not important. Jenny and Alfred grew up and fell in love. One day they got married. After their wedding, Alfred said, Now that we are married, you must tell me about the green ribbon. You still must wait, said Jenny. I will tell you when the right time comes. Years passed, Alfred and Jenny grew old, and one day Jenny became very sick. The doctor told her she was dying. Jenny called Alfred to her side. Alfred, she said, now I can tell you about the green ribbon. Untie it, and you will see why I could not tell you before. Slowly and carefully, Alfred untied the ribbon, and Jenny's head fell off. This story was profoundly horrifying to my young mind. In fact, the final two images are engraved in my brain for probably the rest of my life. Something actually made me shudder when searching for these images and seeing them for the first time after so many years. But what is it about the green ribbon that stood out to me and so many others? After all, the book itself is composed of seven different stories. Why did this one do so much damage? Maybe it's because it teaches us that not all things that are scary come in the form of a skeleton, a ghost, or a cadaver. Sometimes someone as normal looking as Jenny can harbor some kind of darkness. The story lets your guard down. It's a seemingly normal story of a normal couple. People that may be like two folks that you know in your day-to-day -day life. The story also questions how well you know somebody, especially your spouse someone that you're expected to know more than anyone else. But this is just speculation. I recently read a book called Her Body and Other Parties. It's a compilation of short stories by the same author, and one features a more adult retelling of The Green Ribbon. I personally found it extremely interesting and well written. Check it out for a different look and leave a comment on what story impacted you the most when you were growing up.